Hi garden friends, great to see you. It's Miss Malia coming to you from the Ross Garden. Let's get our seeds ready for our next lesson. One, two, three. Plant the little seed in the dark, dark ground. Out comes the yellow sun, big and round. Down comes the cool rain, soft and slow. Up come the little plants, grow, grow, grow. Great job, friends. Today we're gonna to be talking about birds in the garden. That's right, birds. What types there are, why they're good for the garden, how we can attract or encourage them to come to the garden with us. What do you already know about birds? Hmm. Well, let's see. I know that birds can come in different shapes and sizes. I know that birds might sound different. I know that birds are different colors, and I'm not sure. What else do you know about birds already? What kind of birds might we see in the garden? And why are birds good for the garden? Well, birds, having them in the garden with us is really beneficial. It's really good for the garden for a number of reasons. They help fertilize the soil. They help spread seeds around. Yeah, there are lots of great reasons. They also help by eating pesky bugs, bugs that we don't want in the garden. So if we would like birds to be in our garden and stay in our garden, how do you think that we can attract them, that we can encourage them to come to the garden? and be here and eat here, maybe even live here? Well, we wanna make sure that they would have something to eat while they're here that they like. What do you think birds might like to eat? They like bird seed, they like berries, they like to eat bugs, they like worms. So if we have some really good soil with some good worms in it, if we have some bugs for them to eat, if we have some seeds for them to eat, some bird seed. And also what we can do is we can plant plants that they enjoy to eat. So we know that they like sunflowers, zinnia, echinacea. So we can plant lots of those flowers to bloom in the spring and summer to encourage birds to come and stay in the garden with us. Other things we can do to create an even better habitat for them. Ooh, habitat. What's that word mean? Habitat. Well, that's the natural environment of a living thing. So the habitat is the surrounding area in which they live. So to encourage them to come to a cozy and happy, healthy habitat, we can make sure they have enough to eat. We can make sure ooh, that they have a good place to live, a home. What is a bird's home? It's usually a nest. So we could put up bird houses or we could make sure there are enough materials in the garden for them to build a nest. Different things that will help them feel comfortable and safe. What might they need to be safe from? Well, the cold. Mm, predators. Do you know that word yet? Predator. Predator is an animal that preys on another animal. What are some other words we might need to learn for this lesson? Let's see. Habitat, nest, predator. What else do birds do? They migrate. Do you know what that is? We can talk about migration. Migration is when an animal moves from one area, one region, of an area to a whole nother region. So you might hear about birds flying south for the winter. So some birds migrate. They will fly long distances to go and be in a warmer, different climate. All right, so we have migration. And we talked about wanting to attract birds to our garden or encouraging them to come. Attract. 
And we also want to talk about the different things that we want to make sure they have to eat in the garden. So we talked about bird seed. And that's just different types of seeds that we know that they like, like the sunflower seeds. And then also sometimes people mix with the bird seed. They mix what's called suet. And that's basically a type of hard animal fat that they put together with the seeds so that it helps give more um, nutrients and calories to the birds to help them through the winter. Whew, that is a lot of, a lot of vocabulary, a lot of information. But don't worry, we have a lot of fun things to do today. And before we go, I want to show you, before we go on to the next part of our lesson, I want to show you some pictures of a few birds you might see in the garden. And I want you to listen super close because I'm going to play their sound for you. That was one thing I mentioned earlier, that birds have different sounds or songs. So I'm going to use this book right here. I don't have a bunch of birds, unfortunately. I don't have them right here to to chirp and squeak and sing for you. But I do have a book with a lot of different kinds in it. So I'm going to show you a few that you might see in the garden. Well, one that's very common, you might see a lot of different places, is the crow. You see this big, big black bird? You might have seen or heard this one. All right, so listen really closely. Ready? You hear that one? So that's a crow. Another bird that you might see. Ooh, these are fun, especially in the winter because they're so bright and red. The males are red and the females are brown. So the male is the boy and the female is the girl. And so here's the male cardinal. This is the cardinal. I'll play the sound for you of the cardinal. You ready? All right, a couple more that you might recognize. Oh, this one. We've probably all seen one of these. You'll recognize it with the big red or orange belly. This is called a robin. You'll often see them searching in the ground for worms. Okay, listen close. sounds really happy to me. All right, another one you might have seen. This bright blue bird is called a blue jay. I'll play that one for you. All right, and one more. Let's see. Ooh, this one I don't see as often, but it is really bright and beautiful, and I'd love to show it to you. This one's called a goldfinch. Let's listen to this one. Ooh. I said that was the last one, but there's one more I want to share with you, one that you might see a lot. This one's just a little bird. It's often hopping around on the ground. It's a little brown bird. It's called a sparrow. This one is a song sparrow, so let's listen to its song. <laughs> All right, friends, I'm going to pass you along to Miss Kim for the next part of our lesson today, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Today we're reading Birds by Kevin Hanks, illustrated by Laura Dronzik. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. Remember what kind of bird that is with the red or orange chest? That's a robin. Birds can be yellow, or blue, or brown, 
or red, or even green, I think. Recognize the cardinal? Sometimes they are so black that you can't see their eyes or their feathers, just their shapes. That one looks like a crow to me. Birds can be big or little or any size in between. Once I saw seven birds on the telephone wire. They didn't move and they didn't move and they didn't move. I looked away just a second and they were gone. If birds made marks with their tail feathers, with their tail feathers, when they flew, think what the sky would look like. If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this, or this, Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf left over. If there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away at the same time, it looks like the tree yelled. Surprise! If I were a bird, I'd ask where all the other birds go when it's stormy and they can't get home to their nests. I like to pretend I'm a bird. I can't really fly, but I can do this. I can sing. Can you? Give me your best bird song. I'm listening. See you soon. Hi everybody, Miss Kim here. So for our art project today, we are going to be making birds now have my little bird mascots here to show me how to do it. Aren't they cute? Okay, so this is a bird's nest. Now it just looks like a bunch of sticks stuck together, right? The thing is, bird's nests are really hard to make. It takes so much work to get it to stay all together. I tried to make one before and it is hard. Use little pieces like this of straw and you can use sticks. I'm going to try to add to this bird's nest because it's hard to just start one from scratch. But if you like a challenge, you can try it at home. So I'm going to take the straw and just kind of weave it through. If you remember, we had a lesson on weaving a while back and we weaved a uh, some wall art I remember or they were coasters or whatever you wanted to call it so now I'm showing you how to weave in and out of your bird's nest okay I'll show you how hard it is to start one from scratch so I'm guessing that 
our bird friends probably sort of crisscross them and tie them together. Maybe roll them around each other. It's very difficult. Oh my goodness. And I've tried to do this before and I still have a hard time doing it. So let's think about how hard it must be, how hard it is for us, and how amazing it is that birds do it all the time. We might think birds are small and they have little brains, but they can build some pretty amazing things that I can't even do. So. Find some grass and straw and sticks at home in your yard. This is a great time of year to do that because everything has died back because of the cold. And see if you can build one yourself. Here's a closer look. That's where the baby's eggs go and they hatch. This must have been a really little bird. So now we can appreciate a little bit more what goes into building a bird's nest and what they have to do every year just so they can have their babies. Everybody have a great day. Enjoy trying to make your bird's nest because it's hard. Hi everybody, Miss Kim here. I am at the Ross Early Learning Center in East Nashville and today we are doing our bird lesson. So these are my little birds. They're gonna hang out with me while I make a nice little treat for the birds and for me. So we are making little bird feeders out of oranges. I will show you how to do it. First, you get your orange and you get a grown up to help you your knife and you chop your orange in half just like that. Now get your juicer that you can get at like Kroger or Target or any store that has groceries and stuff and you take your orange like this and you just push it down into the juicer. Oh get all the juice out so it can be kind of hard sometimes but it's worth it I promise keep on juicing okay let's do this other one okay all right now, you've got a nice little, little hole dug out in your orange, which is perfect to put some Cheerios in. You can also use bird seed, but I don't have any. I had Cheerios though, and birds like Cheerios, and they're not bad for birds. Things like bread, that you see people feed birds sometimes are not very good for birds. So I wouldn't put that in there. But Cheerios are a good little treat that we can use for birds and for ourselves. And then whenever you're all done, you can drink Just pop the top off and you can drink your orange juice. Mm, so good. So try making your bird feeders at home and then you can put them out into the garden and the birds will eat the Cheerios and the orange pulp inside and then the oranges over a 
small period of time will decompose back into the earth. They will break down into the soil of the earth. Enjoy your orange bird feeders. Have a great day, everybody. Hey gardeners, thanks for joining us for our birds in the garden lesson today. I hope you had a good time and I hope you learned something new. What's one thing that you learned today that you didn't know before about birds? Birds or what birds we find in the garden specifically? Maybe something about their habitat, where they live? I know you guys got to work on a nest with Miss Kim, making a nest for the birds. We talked about predators and what those are. Those are things that will prey on birds. Talked about the migration and things that might attract birds to the garden, like the bird seed, making a nicer habitat with the nest. And I also know that Miss Kim showed you how to make a bird feeder for your garden with an orange and some bird seed. That sounds like a lot of fun. So we would love to see if you were able to make a nest or make a bird feeder. Please share that with us. We would love to see it. We'd love to hear about something new that you learned today from this lesson. Great to see you friends. Let's get our seeds ready. One, two, three. Plant the little seed in the dark, dark ground. Out comes the yellow sun, big and round. Down comes the cool rain, soft and slow. Up come the little plants, grow, grow, grow. All right, well keep your eyes open for birds and let us know what you see. Bye friends.